What have you found, Snowy? Wow. This miniature is a true work of art. It's only a few dollars, sir. It's the first time that I've brought it here. It has been tucked away in my attic for quite some time. It's sold, then. It would look terrific on my living room table. A nice purchase, sir. I hope you enjoy it. Please, young boy, take your hands off my property. I want the ship. The price is irrelevant. Maybe for me, but not for its owner. This young man just acquired this ship a couple of minutes ago. Well, perhaps this young gentleman will accept my very generous offer. No. But you haven't heard my offer, Mr... Tintin. And again, no. You don't have anything I desire. All right. Maybe next time I will be more fortunate. Good afternoon, Mr. Tintin. Who is that man? He has suspicious written all over his face. He's called Zacharine. He's been coming to this market for a couple of weeks now to buy antiquities, he says. But none of the other store owners trust him. He is rich, they say. He bought old Marlin Spike Hall. I've heard he's restoring it. Well, perhaps this lesson has taught him that there are some things that money can't buy. Thanks, and good day to you. And a good day to you too, boy. What was that? Hey, where's the ship? Oh, the man is gone. Too much trouble for a simple miniature ship, I think. Or maybe not. What's this, Snowy? It seems very old, but I don't have a clue what this can be. A map, perhaps? Stop! Stop! I would even say halt! Yes, everybody, don't move. You are under arrest for pickpocketing. For premeditated pickpocketing, I must add. Gentlemen? Tintin! You're obviously not the pickpocket. Not only obvious, but also evident, I must say. Calm yourselves. What's all this about pickpocketing? A criminal who steals pockets all over the city. He's an evil mastermind. Well, I have been robbed, but the thief has stolen a miniature ship. A ship pocket? An organized gang in our city? Calm down. I don't think the theft of my model ship has anything to do with this pickpocket of yours. I have a feeling that we have already met the instigator of this crime. Right, Snowy. Maybe we should pay a visit to Mr. Saccharin in Marlin Spike Hall and gather some clues. Lie. I don't think I need Snowy for this. Aha! This is the detour. I should see Marlin Spike soon. Good heavens! This place would give it ghost goosebumps. Does anyone really live here? It seems abandoned.
continue. Command now.
find a way into this house for me.
my ship when it is right there. By your confused explanations, I deduce that your ship has been stolen by someone, hasn't it? I must say that I had nothing to do with it. That ship is mine, and I have the documents to prove it. Maybe you're right. I think my ship is different. I'm always right, Mr. Tintin. Now, if you don't mind, I'm quite tired. And should you ever recover your ship, I'm still interested in it. But please, use the door next time. Yes, excuse my intrusion. Please, good night. Nesta, accompany our friend to the gates of the estate, and don't forget to close that second floor window. I don't want any more visitors this evening. Yes, Master. First, buy a window for the second floor, and then close it. Yes, Master. Good night, Mr. Tintin. Mr. Tintin, take my advice and forget this affair. A good reporter never compromises. I'm going to get to the bottom of this. Then remember my words. You must repair all the parts of all the ships. That 
that was not my ship, Snowy. I know that for sure. But Saccharine has something to do with this. Maybe the butler's words mean that there are many ships like the one I bought. It's time to return home, Snowy. Maybe after a good night's sleep, we will see things more clearly. First things first, we'll go to the news office and see if they have any information on Saccharin. Important, don't forget the name, the Unicorn. We have to go to the library to see if there's any information about it. Oh, oh I'm so sorry. I didn't see you. Please, allow me to help you up. Are you okay? Again, I'm sorry. I should pay more attention to where I'm going. No, uh, not to worry, young man. I'm the one who should apologize. <laughs> uh, I'm a very absent-minded man sometimes. <laughs> oh, and you are? My name? I'm Tintin. Pleased to meet you. Oh, uh, I'm Aristide Silk. Oh, did you say Tintin? <laughs> Perfect. I don't have many teas. Pardon? No, oh, uh, nothing, nothing. <laughs> no, uh, it was a pleasure to meet you. Um, our brief encounter has left me with quite an impression. Hmm. It's as if you've left a part of yourself with me. <laughs> no, I, no, uh, forget what I just said. Strange man, don't you think, Snowy? Well, let's go home, Snowy. It's been a long night. Oh, <laughs> no.